Now, here's a story I've been wanting to bring to you for a very long time. Ever since we've been trying out this phone, the Honor View 20, you already know my views on the Honor View, that it is a great phone at the price point, and it's a true upmarket move for Honor. But it's the two things that I really want to bring to you. One is the picture-taking ability, the optics and TOS, time of flight. What is it? How does it help? And why is it so good in this one? And the other one is, I think, the big one that I really find very fun and interesting, and that is 3D shaping. Now, it works only in video, and it can actually make you look slimmer in every frame of the video. So there is a lot of AI and a lot of good technology going into it. But how does it work? And does it really work well? Let's take a look. The Honor View 20 puts up quite a show with its shiny new features. But it is probably the performance of its camera that makes it behave like a top-end phone. The rear camera is a massive 48 megapixels coupled with Sony's IMX586 lens and a f1.8 aperture. And don't be fooled, this is not a dual lens setup. The secondary camera is actually a 3D time-of-flight sensor or TOS that transmits infrared to detect objects and depth. So we put the cameras to test to see if they live up to Honor's high claims. When we shot in bright daylight, the colors were very good. The pictures were not overly saturated and the colors were real. There is an AI mode on the phone that changes the settings of the camera suited to the surroundings. Honor claims this phone can detect over 1500 plus scenarios. And when we switched it on, it gave us decent shots detecting the environment. Again, the pictures in this mode were not artificially saturated, which we really like. Under resolution and settings, one can choose from various megapixel settings. Choosing the star of honors show, the 48 megapixel resolution. The detailing was brilliant. An aeroplane in this shot was only visible once we zoomed into the image. But to test the real power of a 48 megapixel camera, click some shots of a flower. And then one zoomed in, since it is a 48 pixel lens, the pixels were very clear even when we zoomed into the pistil of the flower. This is the ultra clarity mode that is meant for daylight and still shots. The camera also does well in low light circumstances with the f1.8 aperture. There is a night mode and the image was not pixelated or grainy. There is minimal noise in the photos that we clicked on this mode. The secondary TOF sensor really comes into its own in portrait shots. The depth in the images is curtsy the sensor that can detect depth along with the high-end Kirin 980 chipset that the phone sports. The portrait shots were sharp with clear edges around the subject. The 3D TOF sensor is also useful in 3D motion control gaming and also in a unique feature that the camera's video mode comes with, which is this 3D shaping. Once increased, the feature claims to make a person look leaner by overall slimming down the arms and legs of a person. Hmm, we're not fans of tech companies taking beauty into their own hands, but it is a less known feature that comes in this phone. There is AI in video as well now, which can give videos like this in the AI color mode. This was one of the highlight features in Huawei's flagship, the Mate 20 Pro, launched last year. The Honor View 20 has a 960 FPS super slow motion mode as well. It works well and the result was, well, splash worthy. The front camera is 25 megapixels and gave us good selfies with AI and even in low light, the selfies were very impressive. But after that 48 megapixel lens on the rear, there's not much to write home about here. All in all, the Honor View 20 does offer a great view through its massive 48 megapixel Sony lens. There's a lot to dig into as well and photo enthusiasts will have a good time exploring all features and modes of this phone. At 37,999 rupees, almost half of that of the Huawei Mate 20 Pro or the Google Pixel 3, the Honor View 20 rear camera can hold its own and on occasion even challenge the two, which makes its camera capabilities all the more impressive.